On second, here's Algier. And he winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Two knocks this one through the post. And the lead is down to one now at 14 13. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. They'll set up to throw. Over the middle, into the hands of Michael Thomas. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Dancing to his left. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Oh, partner, just a second earlier. And they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage. But he had just enough time to dodge the pressure. And he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. The kick by Lutz is good, and that'll move their lead up to four now. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. And I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. Following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. So out come the Falcons now. And after the field goal last time, let's see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> they weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They'll stick with Algier. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over, 
is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak, not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. That's into the hands of Edwards. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Out to his left, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Credit that sack to Marcus Davenport. And, of course, that's not an easy man to sack. You know how elusive he can be trying to get outside of the pocket. That was a great play on the defensive side. And I wonder what was going through his mind because he didn't seem as committed to using his legs to pick up yardage. He wanted to keep that play alive, so either take off and go or throw it away. But he held on to the football and ended up getting sacked. So after the sack here, second and 14. Mariota now. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. The sack coming from defensive end Cameron Jordan. Cameron Jordan, truly the heart and soul of this Saints defense, had another memorable year in 2021. He crossed 100 sacks and made his fifth straight Pro Bowl. The sack backs him up, so now Mariota in Atlanta dealing with a third and long. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain, still a ways to go, though. The New Orleans offense set to take over. Right now, clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays that are going to gain yardage, how would you say, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal? End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. He'll look to throw. He throws, and he hits the slant route to Thomas. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 19 yards there on the catch and run. All pro receiver Michael Thomas missed all of 2021 while recovering from an ankle injury. But we'll never forget that he set an NFL record in 2019 with 145 catches. When healthy, borderline unguardable, just like he was on that play. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 34-yard line. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Got a man. It's caught at the 6-yard line. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the 2. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. 
Kamara trying again. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. They'll run it with Kamara. And this time he is in. Yes. Alvin Kamara already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Saints are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Lutz will look to add the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. So that drive goes eight plays. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. So here is Mariota and the Falcons. Down by 11, a minute 45 to play. They need a touchdown with a two-point conversion and a field goal in either order as they've got it first down. Mariota's throw taken in by Edwards. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Clock running here under 90 seconds to go. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. That one a first down pickup of eight. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Pass complete to Edwards. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Mariota. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Edwards. Mariota yelling out the play call as he hustles everyone to get set. Over to Pitts, and he's got it near the sideline. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now Mariota being chased out left. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. Second and three from the nine. Mariota. Flush to his right. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. That was an interesting look there, because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him. And this is going to be caught. So it affects the final score, not the outcome, but it is a late touchdown here on the game's final play. Problem for them, they needed that score with a little more time left on the clock. I think just too little too late now. I would agree with that, and we're programmed never to say never. But in this case, we're asking a lot for them to even think they have a chance. And this one is caught. So they come up with a two-point conversion, and that makes this a one-point game now. Well, at least at the very end, there's something to take away. They lost the game, but got in the end zone, got a two-point conversion as well. I don't know, though. In the end, you, you still lost the football game. You still lost the game, but maybe they were just capitalizing on the flurry at the end, right? You scored the touchdown, keep the momentum going, go for two. Maybe they're working on something for down the road. As you said, it doesn't matter. You lose the game, but you finish with a touchdown and a successful two-point. Some sort of a building block. Yeah, something. So for the same.